What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. So welcome back to a brand new episode of the Coolest Tech of the Month, September 2020, episode 48. So I'm back again with another epic episode with lots of cool and unique products to share with you guys. So sit back, grab some munchies and get ready for your ultimate fix in the very latest technology and gadget products. So everything you're about to see is going to be timestamped and linked in the description box for your convenience. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I will also link the entire playlist. Meanwhile, if you'd like your product showcased in a monthly special, then go ahead and send me an email. So without any further ado, let's begin with the first cool product. So first up, we have the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. So it's finally here in my hands. So we're going to do a very quick unboxing in the coolest tech special of this mammoth of a smartphone. So here we go. Nice. Here it is. And guess which color I have? Ceramic white people. So I'm just going to place this down, see what else we get in the box. Simajek 2, user manual paperwork, 40 watt supercharger, Type C cable, and Type C headphones. Last but not least, the smartphone itself. So here it is, guys the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, 6.5 inch OLED display with a 90 hertz refresh rate. Resolution 264 by 1200, powered by the Kirin 990, 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of internal storage. This supports 5G, it's IP68 water resistant. You have quad rear cameras on the back with a 3D depth sensor. You have a 52 megapixel main sensor supporting 100 times digital zoom. And on the front you will find a 32 megapixel selfie camera along with another depth sensor. So this is a powerhouse of a smartphone, 4,200 milliamp hour battery. You get a 40 watt supercharger included in the box and the phone also supports 40 watts wireless charging. So this phone can do it all. You've got the power, you've got the performance. You've got one of the best cameras available on the smartphone right now. And if you check out DxO Mark, it's actually ranked within the top three smartphones of this year. So having the best camera for photo and video is important, um, especially in my field of work. So I really look forward to seeing how good the camera is. I look forward to seeing how the OS performs. You've got no Google services, but you do have the app gallery, which is being updated every day with brand new apps. And of course you have the groundbreaking petal search which allows you to search for any app you like and install it straight away. So no doubt a powerful and an amazing device, absolutely beautiful screen. And I'm really interested in those cameras. So I can't wait to do a camera comparison between the Huawei P40 Pro Plus versus the brand new Pixel 4a. So that video is coming very soon on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, if there's any specific content you'd like to see on the P40 Pro Plus, then do let me know in the comments and I'll get it done just for you guys. So that was the Ceramic White P40 Pro Plus. Let's see what's next. So this is an LED portable display by Espresso. And I have their complete kit here. I've got the magnetic case, the stylus, and also the metallic mount and go. Let's check out the monitor. Packaging, first of all, very nice, low profile. Now, Espresso Displays are calling this the world's thinnest portable monitor, coming in at only five millimeters. That's slimmer than a smartphone, people. And it weighs only 890 grams. You can see it's made completely from metal, finished in space gray. You've got the Espresso logo, Espresso Display written at the bottom. And if we have a look at the front of the monitor, you can see low profile design. You can see slim bezels going all the way around. And again, the logo at the front. So very nice, light and cool looking display. Now it is a backlit LED display. This is the 15.6 inch model, but you can get this also in 13 inches. The native resolution is 1920 by 1080. It is a touch screen, so it supports 10 point capacitive touch. You've got built in speakers. 
can help me find Maria. Oh, Maria's gone. We're completely self-checkout now. Please. You've got two USB-Cs on the side with a mini HDMI port. And on the other side, you can see a headphone jack and some buttons for menu control and possibly volume. Now, inside the box, you'll find a cleaning cloth, Type-C to Type-C cable, Type-C to Type-A cable, and you also get a mini HDMI to regular HDMI cable, which is going to be very handy. And a basic stylus pen is also included in the box. Now, let's have a look at the other accessories that you can pick up. So, first of all, the magnetic case. It's a magnetic connection. It simply attaches to this part, and it's a very strong magnet, and it's, it will stay in place. And it also props up as a stand, so you can use it conveniently on a desk. And in this case, you've got a proper electronic stylus. I'll show you what it looks like. It comes with a micro USB charger and another tip. Now, when I looked at this online, I thought this was going to be the coolest accessory. Um, I can't wait to try this one out. This is basically a monitor stand. It's made from metal. It's a magnetic monitor stand, I should add. Look at that. And you can see you've got this nice hinge, which opens both ways. Attach the monitor. The magnet is so strong it can actually stand vertically. So this turns into a proper portable monitor for your desk. Now this monitor is compatible with Windows or Mac. It's also compatible with game consoles, be it PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. It supports smartphones, so Samsung and Huawei will give their respected full Android desktops. It also supports iOS screen mirroring with your iPhones and iPad Pros. And you've also got built-in speakers, so you don't even have to attach any external sounds. You can work or start gaming straight away. So a high quality 15 inch portable monitor by Espresso Displays. Absolutely love the design and the accessories that come with this, especially the Mountain Go. That is a really neat accessory. So next up we have Pouch Pass Temperature Monitoring Wristband. So this will basically monitor your temperature at all times. So in the box you will get a user manual, a wrist strap and the actual unit itself. And then you insert it into the silicone wrist strap and you can see the metal connection there. That simply goes on your wrist. So that's how it looks on the wrist. So the next thing you do is download the smartphone app and follow the instructions and register an account. Click pay accessory and discover via Bluetooth and it has found something. So if we tap on it, it's now reading my temperature. Now, with the ongoing COVID situation, this could be a very efficient way to keep track of your body temperature. Now, all the data is synced from the wristband directly to your smartphone via Bluetooth, and you will get notifications if your body temperature changes. It also keeps a temperature diary, so you can check the full history of your temperature ever since you wore the band. Now, it's got a six months battery life, so you never need to charge it. Once you pop that battery in, six months it will work and it's always on so you don't need to worry about turning the band off um, it's very lightweight i can barely feel the band and it's dust and water resistant so no problem if it gets wet and yes it's available in a whole bunch of different colors now you can see my temperature it says 36.6 degrees and it's telling me that that's a normal temperature so a very affordable price it works very well and it may possibly help you and alert you should your temperature go into dangerous levels um, especially during this COVID situation. So it may even save your life. So the Pouch Pass Temperature Monitoring Wristband, people. It's very affordable. So if you've got a smartphone, be it Android or iPhone, I suggest you pick one of these up. And not just for yourself, for your loved ones too. So definitely check out the Pouch Pass. So let's see what's next. So next up, we have the 70 My A800 4K dash camera. Now we've got two boxes here, the main dash camera, and we've got another box for the reverse camera. So let's get both of them unboxed. Okay, so in the main camera box, you've got a micro USB charging cable, and you can see it's a considerably long cable. Now, a plastic tool is included so you can get behind that carpet. You've got some adhesive stickers, car charger with two USB ports, a clear film which basically goes in between your windscreen and then the dash camera sticks on top. So that means you're not sticking the dash camera directly to your windscreen. This film needs to be peeled and put between your windscreen and the dash camera. So that is the safest way to install this. Here is the dash cam itself. This is a 4K Ultra HD car dash camera. So this is going to be the highest quality dash camera possible. You've got dual vision. So one camera over here and there is a rear camera as well. So if you do go for the optional rear camera, all you do is plug it into the AV port and you'll have yourself dual vision. 
So front and rear recording at the same time. Now this supports super night vision and you also have 3D DNR, which is dynamic noise reduction. Now you've got parking surveillance mode, auto collision detection, a built-in GPS. You've got a smartphone app, which will help you control all functions and also download footage when you need it. Now this dash camera also has an ADAS, which stands for Advanced Driving Assistance System, which will basically assist you whilst you're driving. So when you change lanes or if you're too close to the car in front, it will alert you and let you know. So that's supposed to help you drive more safer. And the camera itself does swivel up and down. Then you've got a micro USB port on the side for power. You've got an AV port for the rear camera and you have a micro SD card slot. And on the side, you have a power button. Now, once you've got this all installed and set up, you don't need to worry about turning the power on and off. As soon as you turn the ignition key, the camera will turn on itself and start recording. And when you turn the ignition key off, the camera will switch itself off. So no managing needed. You don't even need to look at that screen. Once you install it, you know the front and the back of your car will be recording at all times and the recording will be looped. So when the memory card you install is completely full, it will delete the first recording and carry on. If you ever get into a collision, you can just take the memory card out, plug it into your computer, and you can immediately download that footage. Now you can also connect via the smartphone app and download the footage wirelessly if you choose to do so. So that was the 70 My A800 4K dash camera. So a very advanced dash camera for a not so advanced price. I would say for what you're getting, this is pretty affordable. And if you do want to see a full review and demonstration of the video quality, then let me know in the comments and I will get it done for you guys. So next up we have the SJ Cam C100. So you get a whole bunch of accessories and mounts inside the box, including a cleaning cloth and of course the little camera itself. Now the camera comes with a waterproof case and this is a 30 meter waterproof case and you can see a single button on the front so you can control the camera whilst you're in the water. So let's just take it out of the case, get a closer look at that camera and here it is. So an interesting design, it reminds me a lot of the Insta360 Go. Now the Insta360 is much smaller in size as you can see. Similar concept, no screen and just a single button operation. Now this camera is ideal to shoot short video clips, ideal for social media like Instagram or TikTok. Now it's made completely from plastic with a single button on the front and a rubber latch at the bottom, behind which you will find a micro SD slot, micro USB charging port, and also a reset tab. Now this camera supports up to 1080p video and 15 megapixel photos. Now battery life is actually pretty good, three hours with the Wi-Fi off, and with Wi-Fi on, you can still expect a good two hour battery life. Now it weighs only 40 grams. Now there is a smartphone app and it will allow you to wirelessly connect to this camera and it will give you complete control of the camera, including recording video, time-lapse, downloading images, etc. Now the camera does capture good quality 1080p video in decent lighting situations. But if you enter low light territory, then the video quality has a lot of noise um, and it's grainy to the point where it's not usable footage. So it's not ideal for indoor usage, but for outdoor usage in good lighting, it's pretty good. Now the image stabilization is not the best I've seen. Um, it works well, especially if you're vlogging, it focuses on your face pretty well, but it is a little jittery. The stabilization could certainly be better. So 1080p at 30 frames per second. This is an indoor microphone test, indoor microphone test. Now let's go outside and do an outdoor microphone test. So SJ Cam C100 outdoor microphone test. It is a windy day. Let's see if it picks up that wind noise. So this is an outdoor microphone test. So that was the tiny little action camera by SJ Cam. This is the C100. Next up, we have a plain white box with nothing written on it. I've got an idea what this will be, but let's just open it up like a surprise and see what we get. So this is Rocky the Robot, a smart companion for your pets. So inside the box, you've got your user manual. You've got a, an extension, which basically fits on top of the head. And I believe that's a laser light. If you've got a cat, then you already know that they love laser lights. They will follow it everywhere. You're also getting a USB-C cable. So move all of that out of the way and let's check out this robot. So Rocky the Robot is basically a remote controlled car with a 
oval roundish shape. Now the wheels are quite unique. You've got big wheels, but the actual wheel tracks also have rollers on them. Never seen that before. That's quite interesting. Now the lid comes off. If you press the yellow buttons on each side, the lid will lift off. I'll do that in a minute. But before that, I want to show you the battery. So when you keep that press, it will show you how much battery is left. Um, of course, the battery is totally dead, so it's not showing anything. And before lifting the lid off, I want to show you, you've got a sensor and a camera on the front as well. And you've got a feeder at the bottom as well. So you can actually feed your pet treats. You press one button on your smartphone and a treat comes flying out and your pet can pick it up. The laser's on the top. So as this car moves around, it will point a laser to the floor and your cat will follow it all over the place. So it's basically a companion for your pet. You can lift the lid off, as I mentioned, and inside here, you drop your treats. So, and it will release one treat or two treats, depending on how many treats you put in each compartment. So the device is now online and it shows online. So you have the option to see it. And when you do that, you will see the camera in action. I'll turn the microphone off. So the microphone is now off. I'll just turn my speaker down so it doesn't echo too much. All right, let's go back. So you've got controls here at the bottom to move the robot around. And you can go forward, backward, you can go forward, backwards. Remember, it is on charge left and right. And I really like how left and right works. The rollers means it can go left and right quite easily without any additional wheels. So forward, backwards, and it's quite fast, as you can see. It actually goes quite fast. Now, I don't actually have any treats, but if I did, I press this button and a treat will come flying out. And you hear that noise. You can see the red light is on there. And you can basically make your pet chase that red light. On this side, you have a microphone so you can speak to your pet if he's making noise, if he's barking too much or what, or what have you. Um, and also you can take pictures. So for whatever reason, you want to take a picture of what your pet is doing. You can take picture and you can record video. If you exit out of the live app, go to photos, you'll be able to view the video and photos you took. It does 30 seconds video clips. Um, you've got photos as well. So any photos you could take, you can immediately start sharing those photos if you wish to do so. So this product is on pre-order status. I'm not even sure what the price is at this stage, um, but I just wanted to introduce you to it. Uh, something exciting and different, not only for yourself, for your pet. So nobody really likes to leave their pet home alone. Um, the worry is always at the back of your head. What is the pet up to? What's going on? Is it okay? Is the house okay? Is the furniture okay? Is my TV still alive? Etc. So this is a well-made, durable robot. It will give your pet some company. It will keep your pet busy. And it can throw some treats out from time to time. You can actually set it on a timer so the treats will just fly out itself at certain times of the day. Or you can manually do it from wherever you are. And as long as the robot is connected to your home Wi-Fi, you can control it from anywhere. You don't have to be at home. You can be anywhere you like and you can con and you can control it from your phone using 3G, 4G, etc. Now, I wish I had this robot when I had my cat. This definitely would have been my cat's favorite toy or friend. So yeah, if you're looking for an interesting gadget to occupy your pet and at the same time, the ability to see your pet anytime you like and offer it treats, then Rocky Robot is definitely the one to consider. So here we have some accessories and smartphone cases for the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 20. So big thanks for Ring K for sending over their special review kit. And I've got two cases by spec. So we're gonna begin with Ring K. Let's get this open. Okay, we have a thank you card from Rinke. Let's see what we have. I actually haven't had a look at what you get in this box, so it is a surprise for me as well. Okay, so it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six smartphone cases for the Note 20 Ultra. I'll show you one of them at least. So Galaxy Note 20 clear case giving you bumper protection. You've got an outside film you can peel off as well. Uh, very nice quality cases by Rinke. You've also got a army color with a black trim. Another clear one. Now these cases will offer you military grade protection. They've been drop tested as well. So you know you're getting full protection for that expensive Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Here's an all black case. 
clear case with black trim and here's another clear case so those are all for the ultra we've got a screen protector here and it is a tempered glass screen protector now we also have a type c to hdmi cable and we've got a bunch of straps as well awesome stuff now Rinke also do bezels for smart watches this is the galaxy watch 3 and yes, Rinke does have bezels for the Galaxy Watch 3 as well. So you can stick bezels on it and it will give you a unique personalized look to your Galaxy Watch. And I should be getting my Galaxy Watch bezels very soon. And when I do, I will shoot a video on it right away. Okay, so that was the Rinke collection. I also have two more cases. These ones are by Spec. These are also drop tested, giving you complete protection for your smartphone. And this is what it looks like. Here is a clear case. And yeah, it's not your standard silicone. You cannot even bend this one. It's like a proper, nice protective case. And it also comes in black with ridges. So you do have two options, the Presidio Perfect Clear and the Presidio 2 Grip. So awesome cases for the Galaxy Note 20. So this is the Joby Smart Stabilizer. So this is the Smart Stabilizer by Joby. Now check out this case with the Joby logo in the middle. So it's a hard zip up case with a handle. And you've got everything neatly arranged in here. You've got a zip up pocket at the top to containing a micro USB charging cable. And then you also get a bag containing a whole bunch of adapters. So you've got micro USB to type C. This is interesting. You've got micro USB to lightning and you also get a micro USB to micro USB. So a box containing a tripod, which you can attach to the bottom of the gimbal. And that means you'll be able to use this freestanding. Very nice. Now, this is a gimbal stabilizer for smartphones. You've got your usual buttons you would expect to find on a stabilizer, power button, a joystick, so you can manually control things. But also this gimbal has a telescopic handle. It extends up to seven inches. Now I actually haven't come across a gimbal stabilizer. I'm sure they're out there, but I haven't come across one that has an extendable arm. So I've attached my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And as you know, iPhone 11 Pro Max is so big and wide. It doesn't fit on every single of these tripod attachments. But as you can see, this fits perfectly fine. It's secure in place and it works well. It handles the weight of the phone because the iPhone 11 Pro Max is heavy. And we are now using it freestanding now you can also connect your smartphone via Bluetooth to the gimbal and that will give you some extra functions and buttons. So you've got a zoom button on the right, a record button at the bottom, and you've even got a trigger button on the back. And you also have your micro USB port so you can charge the actual gimbal. So awesome extendable gimbal stabilizer. This is the Joby smart stabilizer people. So this cool looking gadget is by 12 South. It's called the Time Porter for Apple Watch. So you've got a hard case here. It's covered in leather, um, looks and feels quite premium. You've got some hinges on the back made from metal. If we open it up. So it's a three in one design. It gives you a compact travel case, bedside charging stand and storage for your Apple Watch accessories. So basically you can put a power bank in the middle. You can bring your wire out, feed it through here and it will come out from this side and that will be your Apple charger. Then you can just place your Apple Watch on top and it will immediately start charging your Apple Watch. So I couldn't actually find a power bank small enough to fit in here. It's definitely not going to shut. The case ain't going to shut, but I do have other power banks that I could test at a later stage. Okay, so here's my Apple Watch. Just drop it on top, magnetically sticks. And there you go, it's charging and it shows you your watch clock. So a very nice travel accessory case slash charging stand, all in one device, the Time Porter for Apple Watch, and this is compatible with all the Apple Watches from Series 1 all the way down to the latest Series 5. So this is the Vava 12-in-1 Dual 4K Docking Station. Now this is a compact, durable docking station for your laptop or your MacBook Pro. It gives you plenty of ports and connectivity. So it's made from a metal body with a black plastic trim. And I will go through all the ports. You've got a USB-C connection. You've got a USB 2 port, two USB 3 ports, full size SD card slot and a micro SD card slot just under it, a gigabit LAN, another USB 2 port. You've got two 4K at 60 Hertz HDMI outputs. You've got a USB type C output and a DC power socket. And on the side, you've got a headphone jack. 
So it will give you all the connections you're ever going to need from one docking station. And I certainly like the build quality and finish. It will definitely match my MacBook Pro. So the Vava 12 in one docking station, people. Now the next product is very unique. It's called the Charge ASAP Flash. Now in my hands, I have the world's most powerful 210 watt USB-C power bank. It's an all in one fast charger. It uses Panasonic graphene batteries, which means the actual power bank can charge up pretty fast. Now we're talking about zero to 80% in just 35 minutes or zero to a hundred percent in just 70 minutes. And you do have a 20,000 milliamp hour capacity to charge up. So that is pretty fast charging. Now the power bank itself is made completely from metal. You've got a mirror on the top and when you press the power button, it will let you know how much battery is left. So the numbers look like they're all racing around, but that's not the case. Um, my camera is picking it up like that. But in actual fact, it's just two static numbers saying 98. And that means you've got 98% charge left. Now the ports. Now you've got one 60 watt USB-C output, an 18 watt USB-A port, a 40 watt USB-A port, and a 100 watt USB-C input and output. And you've got a 10 watt wireless charger on top. So combined power of all the ports is 210 watts. You can charge four devices at the same time. And this supports nearly all the fast charging technologies currently available. So Quick Charge 3, Huawei Supercharge, Oppo's Flash Charge, Vivo's Flash Charge. You've got MacBook and Apple Fast Charging and lots more. And also this supports pass-through charging. So you can charge the power bank at the same time as charging your other devices. An amazing power bank, which we are going to briefly test. Let's drop a phone on top and do some wireless charging. Suppose we're pressing the power button once to activate the charger. And there you go. Fast charging wirelessly. 35 minutes left until wirelessly charged. So yes, fast charging is working. So it is 10 watt max. Yes, I know for wireless charging, that's not necessarily fast. But hey, the feature is there. Now on top. Now it supports VOC charging, it supports Huawei's uh, supercharge. So let's grab a Huawei phone, shall we? All right, so here is the Huawei P40 Pro. So here is the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Plug it in, press the button on the side once. So yeah, it looks like it is charging and you can see it says supercharging. Awesome, awesome stuff. And we're doing this from a power bank, people. So that was the Huawei supercharging working from the uh, 40 watt port. We are now going to try an Oppo phone. So we're going to try out VOC charging. Here's the original Oppo charger. You have to use the original cables for it to work. You can't use any USB-C cable. So plug in the USB-C and press the power button on the side once. And expect some flash VOC charging. There you go. The Vox symbol is on, 91%. It's working. It doesn't get better than that, people. A power bank which incorporates all the fast charging technologies, meaning you don't need any other power bank. This one can do it all. 20,000 milliamp hours, plenty of capacity. You need to charge your phone three or four or even five times completely, depending on how big the battery capacity is. But the beauty of this power bank and what sets it apart from all the competition is the fact that it's got graphene batteries inside here and these batteries can charge up very quick. 80% in 35 minutes, 100% in 70 minutes. So 20,000 milliamp hours can be fully charged in 70 minutes. That is incredible. Now these are multi-port adapters by Minix. I've got two types here, one with an internal storage and one without. And I've got both colors here, the space gray and silver. So first of all, let's check out the multi-port adapters with the internal storage. So you get a 480 gigabyte M2 SSD storage built in. So here it is made completely from metal. You've got an LED power indicator on the front. Minix 480 gigabyte SSD. So that's nearly 500 gigs, people. And if we have a look at the ports, you've got two USB 3 ports, a USB Type-C, an HDMI output, and that's 4K at 60 Hertz. You've got a, another USB Type-C port on this side and a gigabit LAN. You simply connect the included USB-C to USB-C cable and plug that directly into your laptop or MacBook Pro. And not only will it give you every single port you're ever gonna need, 
but it will also give you 480 gigs of extra storage space, which is fantastic. I love the idea. It's great to travel with, comes with a carry case to keep it safe. And I love the fact that this is an all-in-one device. You've got your multi-port adapters, but also the hard drive inside. So you don't have to carry separate hard drive, separate multi-port adapters. You've got everything in one. So Minix USB-C multi-port adapters with SSD storage. Now I also got the multi-port adapters without the internal storage. So same build quality, complete metal, Minix logo in the center. There's no LED power indicator on the top. You've got two USB 3 ports, full size SD and a micro SD card slot, gigabit LAN, 4K at 60 Hertz HDMI out and a USB-C port. And the actual USB-C cable is fixed to the hub um, and the other one was removable. So that's one of the main differences. Otherwise you have more or less the same ports, HDMI, 4K and you've got the gigabit LAN but no internal storage. And this is also available in both space gray or silver. So those were the Minix's new range of multi-port adapters. And my favorite has to be the Space Gray multi-port with the M2.SSD. 480 gigabytes of capacity is always going to come in handy. Um, not bad for the money. So while we're in the mood of looking at USB-C hubs, here is another one. This is a brand new one called Pluggable. So this is a 7-in-1 multifunctional USB-C hub. You've got a fixed USB-C cable coming out of it. You've got three USB 3.0 ports on one side. An HDMI output supporting 4K at 60 Hz. You've got full size SD, micro SD card slot and a USB type C port. So pretty much all the ports apart from gigabit LAN, there's no LAN port at all. Um, other than that, this supports pass through charging as well. So that is the very affordable pluggable USB-C 7-in-1 multifunctional hub. So in this box, we have some active bookshelf studio speakers, model number R1850DB. So here it is unboxed. We have a user manual, a speaker connecting cable, a 3.5 millimeter to RCA cable. We've got RCA to RCA. Optical cable is also included. And so is a small remote control. So the speakers are made from a wooden black finish. And on the back, you can see the left speaker has a single speaker in connection. And this will be the main speaker, which has the power adapter coming out of it. And it has a whole bunch of ports. So you've got three dials. And if I lift the speaker a bit, you can see what they say. Treble, bass and volume. Now you've got your RCA connections over here. Optical out, coaxial. You've got your subwoofer out. So you can attach a subwoofer. You've got your left speaker connection and also a physical power button. So let's just hook this up and hear what it sounds like. So I'm feeling a bit adventurous. So what I've done is I've connected the speakers via Bluetooth to my smartphone, which is a Samsung Galaxy S8, I think. So the S8 is connected to the speakers via Bluetooth. Then I've connected the S8 with one single USB to the Espresso display, which I showed you earlier. That is it. So we've got a speaker system, sound system and something to look at. So absolutely amazing sound quality from these speakers. Now we were just testing Bluetooth out, but the combination of Bluetooth with that monitor, um, the setup looks insane. Uh, it looks much better than I anticipated. But going back to the sound quality, you're getting a pretty powerful sound. Um, if I just remove one of the grills, you can see how the speakers look. So we've got 18 millimeter silk dome tweeters, a four inch mid range bass driver. And I have to say the overall sound quality is pretty mind blowing. Now you can adjust the treble in the bass from the back. I could not put that on maximum volume. It was that loud. Sound quality is crisp and clear and very loud. So as expected from Edifier, these are premium quality active bookshelf speakers. 
And I can tell you right now, you will not be disappointed in the sound. The small remote control is very responsive. Um, you can change between the modes quite easily, play pause, skip tracks, and you can switch the power off. So there you have it, the Edifier R1850DB Active Bookshelf Speakers absolutely mind-blowing and if you like the combination i have here do check out the links in the description everything you've seen in this video will be linked below including the awesome espresso monitor that we have in the middle so there you have it guys that was another round of the coolest tech of the month september 2020 episode 48 now i'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that i set my eyes on now do let me know in the comments below which products were your favorites and it doesn't have to be one product it can be a number of products that you liked now with that being said i will leave the links in the description so you guys can check any of these products out and if you like one of them you can of course go ahead and pick one up for yourself that's all for this video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next one.